let's talk about brother Kyrie. Um, brother Kyrie was forced to apologize. I mean, we have a lot of just different words for it that we've been hearing. Putting this on the wrong foot, you know. I'm trying to get the hell up out of here today. Um, and people say butt breaking all this, but I ain't here to dispute, to confirm, or to be at some type of middle ground of what Mr. Kyrie Irving said, because I don't know nothing about that, right? I did a little bit of research, but it wasn't enough to, it wasn't enough to, you know, grasp, right? And people say mythology and, you know, at the end of the day, everything is mythology. Adam and Eve is mythology. The Bible, I don't care what they say, is mythology. So when you start thinking about it, it's a thousand different uh, uh, religions, mythology. So it's really, a, a lot of it is a myth. Uh, anyway, but I ain't here in order to deny, confirm. I've never rubbed shoulders with the Hebrew Israelites, never ran into them, never got the game. Only time I really, like, really experienced, like, the five percenters and stuff is when I watched the Wu-Tang TV show that come on Hulu. And if you listen to their albums, they have a lot of five percenters. Now, if you want somebody to talk about this, that know about the five percenters and the Hebrew Israelites, go hit up Lion Killer Podcast and tell them to talk, speak on it. Because we, we didn't had conversations about it. And, you know... He could tell you a lot more than I have. He studied there. Uh, I don't know what they call it. I'm just going to call it for the fall, a Bible. He studied their Bible. We spoke on it or whatever, right? But I ain't, I ain't here to talk about that. You know, nor am I scared to talk about I just don't talk about stuff that I don't like 100% know or I don't know through and through uh, that. Oh, man, my man's axle broke on the trailblazer. That's like one of the new trailblazers, too. Um, I just changed my accent, but uh, but yeah, man, my thing is this, bro. You gotta kind of know. My bad, I got a phone call. So you gotta kind of know the position that you in and the audience that you that's back you up, right? Okay. So you know, a lot of people say with well, NFL and NBA players ain't too different from each other. Or they they different NBA ride in the field don't. Um, uh, you gotta know you know people that he defending or I don't know um, black people are supposed to have his back. You gotta know your demo. You gotta know your audience. Like if I go out and I know the person I'm going out with can't fight. Well, you know what I'm saying. He start running his mouth. I already know. I already know what I gotta do. Like, come on, bro. Let's come on. Let's get this slide out this morning. You know what I'm saying? You already know. You know. You already know if it's ten niggas over there. It's two of y'all. It's one of y'all, or whatever situation may be. You already. You already know the play. Anybody that street, you already know how we gonna how you gonna play it. I know exactly how I'm, how I'm gonna play it. So you gotta know your. You gotta know not only your audience. You gotta know the people that's that's with you. I know if I'm with five headbusters and it's ten of them, I know we headbusters. Then, hey, you know, if we got to, we got to. And with Kyrie Irving, I say that to say this with Kyrie Irving, you know the black community is fickle. Look how they did Kaepernick. Jay-Z turned around, might get to watch the commanders with Jeff Bezos. You know, they be the same people. They will give the black community all the... They will give them all of the... All the uh, all of the materials to, to do the job, to put in work and in, in to in slander you. You're gonna have some black people gonna ride regardless, all that. But all, in, and all it did is what really they're doing is creating division in the NBA amongst the players, division amongst the black community. It's not division amongst the Jewish community. They sticking together, that's what they do. No community outside of maybe the Asian community keep their dollar in the community like the Jewish community. Right? You know how we is. Oh, we ain't boycotting Gucci. We ain't boycotting uh, Balenciaga. 
Oh, they did black fat. We ain't boycotting them. We ain't, hell no, I'm still gonna wear my stuff. We don't have no unity. You know, so what he was doing is, how you gonna take them people money, quote unquote, playing them people league, quote unquote, being a sports music in industry, diss them, and still think they gonna, still think you gonna be allowed to be in the good old boy club. You know what I'm saying? And still think you're gonna be allowed to to make to to to, to take that money. Only way that's gonna happen if the players and, and and the fans stick together. That's the only way you you can break that down. And for one, the and only one prayer I heard said something about him. That was Robin Lopez. I didn't read what he said about him. Right? You gotta understand. They control the media, the music, the entertainment. The dollar. The dollar that's all through there. See, Martin Luther King can say what he wanted to say. Malcolm X can say what he wanted to say because they wasn't funded by the Klan. They was trying to be, you know, they was trying to, you know, that was their opposition. That was that was the people that they was trying to get equality and, and get their point across to. You know what I'm saying? So how can you offend people who help feed your family, right? Only way you can do that and say, well, they're impressing us, whatever, or, or and I said, he didn't say nothing. He posted a documentary that is considered mythology. You know how slippery, how slippery slope that is. They consider anything like that anti-Semitic. So you already know they gonna say, well, he, he doing this, he slander, woo, 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 woo. You already know that. So they gonna, even if you talking about it really wasn't, and then it wasn't, if he shared something, boom, right? Now, if he'd apologize off jump, hey man, you could apologize, we all could have moved on. Sat down, met with him, whoop de -woo, you know what I'm saying? But how can you take money from them and they leak and in their industry, talk shit and expect them not to turn your water off. Come on, that's like the Knicks and the Lakers. And they say, man, we gonna send Kawhi to the Lakers because, man, you know what I'm saying? Like, hell no, not for no cheap price. Or we gonna send AD to the Clippers for get back Johnson in a second round pick. Hell no, you not. So, once you think about it, if you, if they, you know, what you created, what you created here, you don't have leverage to follow through on, nor do you have the backing to follow through on that, nor do you have the support from the NBA players to follow through on that, because they ain't, ain't, them niggas ain't dropping, dropping they uh, jerseys and dropping to hell, y'all treating Kyrie wrong, man, we ain't playing. No, they got it's Christmas time. They got babies to feed. A, a, a lot of NBA players live paycheck to paycheck, just like nine to fivers, bro. It's a lot of nine to fivers that's in a better position, and it might sound stupid to somebody. They're in a better position to make it if they get fired, or they got to go on the layoff. They're in a better position to 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 make it longer than the average NBA player. It's a lot of them. They cash flow was in and out, in and out. It's one income. It's not investing. Have multiple incomes. Nothing like that. So I'm a ride for your cause, not knowing who's gonna be ten toes down and what's gonna happen next. I ain't save up for this. I don't have the multiple incomes for this. Who knows how long it's gonna gonna take to back Kyrie Irving? You know what I'm saying? Come on. So this, if you're gonna do something like this, y'all got to, you got to be prepared. And I know you kind of. And the people say, well, it really wasn't his intent to do that. He know what type of slippery slope, you know. Know your audience. If you if you're going to if you're going if you're going to quote unquote try to start a revolution do you understand what's going to have to happen for a revolution we have to take ownership 
We have to, first of all, you have to stick together. You have to have ownership. You have to grow your own food. We have to have a lot of black farmers, which is a lot of minority and black grants for black farmers. They begging for them to go. You pretty, pretty much get a farm for free. But who willing, who really willing to give up a city lifestyle to be on a farm? Control the food. That's the number one thing you got to do. You get food. You stick together, ownership and stuff and food, it ain't nothing that you can't do. But black people ain't ready for that, bro. They not. So you 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 starting all this for nothing. Black people are perfectly fine in America living how they living. Trust me, if they wasn't, it'd be a change coming. We'd be sticking together other than when somebody get their head cracked on the pavement. So you sitting out here preaching and, and doing all that, all you doing, you know, uh, and everything you did, maybe if it was your first little thing you did, cool. But if you're going to apologize in the end, Nick Cannon, Kanye West, take the stance that you took in the beginning, but you got to understand, man, your audience, you got to understand your audience. You got to understand the people that's coming, your backup. Come on, man. No NBA players ain't, ain't ready to do their own league, bro. They ain't ready to hash out deals, do their own league. You know what I'm saying? They ain't, and they got a lot of capital amongst them to do so, too. They ain't. So what Ky Ky Kyrie did was just create another distraction Maybe trying to get out of Brooklyn. Am I bashing him for what he posted? Man, I don't know. I seen the title of it. You know. You know, he shares something and people got offended. It's anti-Semitic. We, we already know every time. Every time you say something, it's anti-Semitic. We know we do something. Every time, you know, somebody, you know, say some words, the alphabet community come out of nowhere. Every time you say, you know, a B or a ho out of, out of music. The feminists come out of nowhere, but they're shaking their ass when the female says so. It's just, you know, it's just the time that we live in. It is what it is. It is what it is. Adam Silver's Jewish. What did you expect? He probably like, this shit gonna blow over. I ain't really tripping about it. He gets some phone calls. Adam, you about to do something. Know how the game is gone. But... But like I said before, man, if you ain't gonna follow through, don't even don't just don't even post it, don't even say nothing. And you can't be in a capitalist environment and start a, a move, a, a pro-black movement. It just can't happen. The movement has to be gener has to be generated on money, or has to be powered on money generated that's already been made from somewhere like that, or it has to be generated from somewhere outside of the music, entertainment, sports industry. It has to be. It has to be funded by the people. And then again, people got to believe in it, and hopefully it's not a scam. Is Kyrie really ready to make that sacrifice? Maybe you this is what you do, Kyrie. You get all the money you can. Make sure you get all the investments that you can. Make sure you got a lot of money coming in from real estate. You got a lot of money coming in. When you retire, you got everything set. You can do what you do. You can do what you do, you know, but, uh, it is what it is. You know, I ain't on, I ain't on no side of the fence on this one. I don't even be watching NBA. I'm just looking. I didn't know exactly what he did, but somebody posted that. Oh, he posted this and that. And people so he butt breaking him. He apologized. I mean, you know, if you're going to stand on something, stand on your word. If you know they're going to make you apologize, don't even say it. Don't even post it. You don't even post it. It's an unneeded distraction. But, hey, everybody got an opportunity to do what they do. You already know the response from people in the media. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? that You know, that's who, they funded by the same people. They get the same CCs and text alerts and all that type of stuff. Let's stop acting like we don't know how the industry works. Please. We know how this thing works. But, um, you know, and people say, well, when they do this to black people, 
They ain't forced to apologize. And Robert Sarver didn't have to do this. Then, then let's change it then. Well, they know they can have your dollar regardless. Like Kanye. This y'all. This does. Came back and people still say, don't support Kanye. So it's, it's the culture of hip hop. Eminem come in, call black women hoes and bees and all that. And people, and those black girls tell me, we apologize for it. And you, you can come and go as hip hop as you please. Look at Lil Nas X. They said, oh, you can't come up in here in country. Well, boy, what are you doing? We're not going to allow this boy to be country. So we don't have any, we don't have any security. You go in and out the hip hop culture as you want. You can diss, be racist. You can make money off it. And then leave and run back to pop or run back to rock and roll, run back to country. Do go and close you, please. Leon Core can come in here. Um, um, all these people can come into the music industry, come into the music entertainment industry, suck what they want out of here, come and go as they please. There's nobody to say, oh man, you can't do this. It ain't no Superman, ain't no Batman, ain't no Black Adam, ain't no. Uh, Pit bulls at the gates and no bears at the gates and lions at the base to say, well, you can't you can't come and go. We don't have no enforcer. We don't have nobody that can check you at the gates. And every time somebody try to rise up, you know, they expose them as a kind man and all that. And that's how politics work. When you're talking about when Trump came to Detroit, he was at Wayne T. Jack, Reverend Wayne T. Jackson's church. All of this is 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 networking. And that's why I say I said in my video like a couple days ago, whenever it posts, I don't remember what video it was. I said that the most important thing about college is not the degree. The reason why fraternities and sororities are so um, vital is the networking. The networking is the most important thing about college. Who you meet, who you know, who you rub shoulders with, who you give a ride with. Who you have a conversation with can change your life. Imagine the people that was in the dorm room with Mark Zuckerberg and his boy that started at Facebook, even though he did him dirty. But Eduardo, imagine that just being at the right place, being in dorm with the right person, rubbing shoulders with the right person. That's more valuable than a piece of paper, bro. All this is networking. So just something to chew on for a minute, dude. But, uh, I can't go I can't go up against a group, a street gang, and it's just me. Not directly. I gotta be playing chess and they gotta be playing goldfish for me to even have a, a small chance. If you got all your brothers and sisters with you in the NBA and then rub off to all your brothers and sisters in the black community and they, they everybody gonna stay on cold, then cool. I remember when gas, people forget this in like 2008, right? Gas, I'm in the gas was like uh five dollars a gallon, bro. And um, they were telling everybody get gas on, I don't know, the day before. We ain't getting gas um, on this specific day or whatever, right? So I'm, I'm driving back and forth to high school. They're like, man, we ain't getting gas. So like, okay. You know how many people? I see more people at the gas tank, at the gas station on that day than a regular day. It's hard, to, it's hard to form a boycott where you get 10, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100% a participant. It's hard to get 5% of people to participate. So, it's crazy. So, it is what it is, man. Um and and it didn't hurt. It didn't help that the message the message was coming to, from Kyrie after all the stuff he didn't been through, but um let me know what you girls and guys think. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, check out the music entertainment playlist, check out the NBA talk playlist. Check out the current news playlist. Uh, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, financially want to support the channel. Cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313 Venmo, CJ Good 313 PayPal link description. Hit the link to you. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Spotify, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Amazon, Google Podcast. Peace.